everyone. I just recently got a few new cosmetic brushes that I wanted to share with you. Um, some of them my sister bought me for my birthday and another one I just picked up yesterday. Um, I've actually just used them all for the first time today. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, first of all, I want to say that I know that there are 2 million uh, reviews for Sigma cosmetic brushes on YouTube and blogs and whatnot. So I'm not necessarily giving you a review per se. I am giving you my thoughts and opinions after having used them for the first time to maybe help you if you're considering buying Sigma brushes or if you're in the market for some new brushes. So uh, first of all, I got the face set, uh, which are three brushes, and it is the Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki, the F80. Looks like that. And yes, they are dirty because I used them this morning, as I mentioned. It's a nice, short... Um, compact, very soft, flat top kabuki brush. This is a round top kabuki, the F82. And the angled top kabuki, which is the F84. The flat top I used for my face powder. I used the Revlon Photo Ready Pressed Powder. Worked very well for buffing it out into the skin. Um, make it an even coverage of powder as opposed to kind of getting powder here and then having to get powder here and, powder, and it just kind of buffed it all into the skin very nicely and flawlessly without buffing it all over my face you know fluffing it everywhere like a big fluffy brush like that would um this i used with my revlon color stay liquid foundation and this is the round top kabuki the f82 um it blended it in seamlessly i mean it just what I was using was the MAC 130 brush, which is kind of like a miniature of the, um, I think it's a 182, 187, I think. Sorry, they're all dirty. I just used them. <laughs> I used this yesterday. I haven't cleaned them yet. Uh, this is the large stippling brush. This is just like a miniature of that. And I was using this for my all over my face, and it works fine, but this works much better. The only thing I don't care for with this F82 yeah, is getting in here by my eye area. It's kind of big and thick for that. So I think I'm going to put all my makeup on and then go back into my eye area with the 130. So this put it all on um, quickly, um, flawlessly, and it didn't look like I had a ton of foundation on my face. Like it buffs it all out nicely, but still leaving behind the coverage. So it's you're well covered but it's all buffed out so nicely that it doesn't look like I'm wearing three pounds of makeup on my face, though I may look like that to you because some people don't wear this much foundation. <laughs> I have to. The flat top I already told you about, the angle top kabuki, I used that with my um, powder, if I can open it. Ow. My powder sculpting duo, which is that there. This is by Motives. And it's just a powder um, sculpting powder. <laughs> I just tapped that in there and went along here. Now this brush works much better than what I was using, which is an Eco Tools brush that looks like that. Um, this is a, still a good brush, but you can see it's so much smaller and so much thinner that this tends to put on a stripe and then I have to go back in and buff that out. As to where this kind of puts it on, in, it's just wide enough, not too wide, but not too thin, and puts it on in the right place and buffs it out at the same time. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone. It's so soft that it just kind of is buffing. They all are. So those are the face brushes. The eye brushes that I got are the um, Tapered Blending E35 brush. Looks like that. I'm going to compare this to the MAC 224 brush. Let me put the ferrules side by side. You can see that the MAC 224 brush is a little bit larger around, but it may be just because I've been using the 224 forever. Um, and the E35 is brand new. I don't know if you guys can tell if I do that or not. But the tips of the 224 brush are a little bit thinner and more sparse, and this is a little bit more dense and compact. So this kind of fluffs when you're blending. If you're going to use it for concealer, it really blends it in well. I think this one would work even better for both. This is a little bit more dense and kind of stays in the right area that you want it in and it's not fluffing it quite as much. And you could still use this for concealer if you wanted to. 
The other eye brush that I got from Sigma is the Travel Size E25 blending brush. I'm going to compare that to my dirty little <laughs> MAC 217 brush. They're almost exactly the same. The MAC brush is natural hairs. The um, Sigma brush is synthetic, which is fine by me because I know that it's cruelty free. So the only thing that is different is the tips of these. Again, is just this one is just sorry about my nails. They look really terrible. Um, <laughs> we've had no power for days. We just got it back on and haven't been able to do anything. So anyways, the tips of these are just a little bit thinner um, than this. This is a little bit more dense and this is a little bit more thin right at the tip, which I kind of like because it gives you a good control with even going underneath your eye and putting on a thin something as opposed to a thick. I haven't used this one yet, but I used all the rest of them and I love them so far. So then we will get into the last brush that I got. This um, E25, E25, sorry, travel size was actually a gift from Sigma. They just put that in my pack like that. So I thought that was very nice. This um, three set of brushes was 42 and the eye brush was nine. And then they threw in the fifth brush for free. The other brush that I got, this I just picked up yesterday at Ulta. And if you guys are familiar with Pixie Woo, they are um, sisters who are makeup artists in the UK. They do um, YouTube videos as well, kind of on the side. Um, Samantha Chapman, the one sister, has just created and launched her new cosmetic brush line. And it's called Real Techniques. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. And the one that I got was the uh, shading brush. It's just an eyeshadow shading brush. Sorry, I did use it this morning. They're purple and black. They're really cute. And it says techniques right there, Real Techniques right there. And it just says uh, by Samantha Chapman. So they don't have numbers or names or anything like, well, they have names, they don't have numbers. This one is a shading brush. I only got this one because this is the only brush that Ulta had left. Very upsetting. Anyways, it's a nice, narrow, um, kind of a flatter eyeshade, eyeshadow brush. So it's real good for if you want to pack some color on a smaller area. I even used it in here this morning. It was small enough for that, but still large enough to finish up my eye lid without it taking me a half an hour to pack color on there. Um, I used this brush under here this morning. It put it on in a little bit thicker of a line, but that was what I was going for. So, so far, I really love this brush. They are also synthetic, cruelty-free, very soft. This is kind of a dense, compact head. Uh, let's see. I think that's really all I can say about that brush. My mom got the last <laughs> set of face brushes. So I wasn't able to use those, but I will kind of ask her opinion and see what she thinks of them. They are very affordable. I think that brush was $6. And she got a set of four face brushes. It was a foundation brush, a small concealing brush, um, a buff buffing brush, kind of like this, I think. I think it was kind of like this one. And I can't remember what the other one might have been, a, like a powder type brush. And they were $15.99, so they're very affordable. Um, and as, if they're all like that quality and they work that well, then I will like all of the whole line. So those are the brushes that I got. And I hope that was helpful to some of you if you are in the market for new cosmetic brushes, um, not wanting to pay a fortune for them. This brush, I want to say was $30, $31 maybe. These three brushes were $42 from Sigma. And they are of very high quality. They're very, very good cosmetic brushes. These are not going to fall apart. Super soft. Incredibly, you know, incredible performance for $42. $9 for this brush. I think this one was $17, maybe more than that. So you kind of get the gist as to the prices of the brushes compared to some of the higher end products, but they work really well. So hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Leave me any comments that you have. Um, please leave them here on this YouTube video, not over on my Facebook. It's easier for me to keep track of my comments that way and answer you. And I hope that you're having a good day. And I hope that this video uploads because I've been having a hard time. None of my videos are uploading. That's why you haven't seen anything new from me. So hopefully we'll get this one to upload. So have a great day. Thank you.